another key thing was professional bodies do actually determine um, assessment methods. Um, we also looked at internal quality assurance systems and how they might help and hinder the development of in, uh, assessment methods. Um, real world assessment is important um, and then technology drawing on this morning's uh, input is important in terms of uh, assessment methods. Then we got into issues of diversity, um, um, the, the globalisation, internationalisation being reflected in assessment activities and then not multidisciplinary but cross-disciplinary so we had a discussion between historian and healthcare professionals about what can be gained from each, each area. And finally, a bit of a challenge at the moment, if high schools are actually being required to revert to an exam system, how does that kind of sit with the notion of independent critical learners in universities? And just watch out, Mr Gove gets his way. Mm -hmm. It's an open secret, Mr Gove wants higher education under him. Mm -hmm. And if David Willits loses out on the power battle, watch out mm -hmm. for assessment in higher education. I just wanted to pick up one other thing from what you were saying. I was interested in what you said about professional bodies. And while I agree that professional bodies have huge amounts of power, what I would also say is, who are professional bodies? Professional bodies are often us. And one of the things I think we really need to do is to... I was once hissed by a nursing midwifery council um, conference because I stood up and told them that I thought something they were doing was really daft. And they all hissed at me, and then two or three years later, no link, I'm sure, they actually stopped doing this really daft thing. So I think what we've got to do is say, yes, professional bodies are really powerful, and sometimes they're daft, and we have to. Who in this room is involved in a professional body of some kind? We have to stand up and be counted and take over. And if a professional body is saying something stupid, like, for example, you can only assess using Bloom's Taxonomy Levels 1 and 2 in Year 1, <laughs> and Bloom's Taxonomy 3 and 4 in Level 2, and Bloom's Taxonomy 5 and 6 in Level 3, we've all got to shout at them and say, have a look at primary school curriculums and see where Bloom's Taxonomy fits in there. We've got to be it. Thank you for that.